Hello folks, welcome back to our Sway Move course. In the last lesson, we learned what is a Sway object and how to play around with it. Now in this lesson, we'll learn what is a parameter passing and object deletion. That's our agenda. Firstly, we'll learn about parameter passing and then object deletion and structure unpacking. All right, let's start with parameter passing. Understanding the significance of parameter passing is essential as it enables function to process values or objects within a program. This forms one of the fundamental means by which data traverse through a software application, moving from one function to another. Grasping how parameter passing operates can aid in coding more efficiently and accurately. In SwayMove, parameter passing generally employs three methods. The first one is pass by value. So the function obtains a duplicate of the argument instead of the original variable. Any modification made to the parameter within the function do not impact the original data. And the second one is pass by reference. So contrarily, the function refers Re receives a reference to the original data rather than a copy. This permits the function to both read and alter the original data. And the third one is pass by mutable reference. So analogous to the pass by reference, but it also allows the, the function to modify the original data. This method is prevalent in languages like Rust. Okay, so as we have mentioned, pass by value. In this method, a copy of the argument value is created and passed to the function. The original value remains unchanged regardless of any modification made within the function. And let's see the code example here. So in this example, the process amount by value uh, receives a U64 type parameter amount. It then tries to increment it. However, since the amount is passed by value, the modification doesn't affect the original amount. And for the pass by reference, let's say the code example. So this code defines a structure named color item that represents an object with color properties. The properties include a unique ID of the type UID and three color components, R value for uh, red, G value for green, and B value for blue. All of the type are U int A bit <coughs> uh, integer. The code also contains a public entry function named pass objects by reference. This function takes two parameters, a uh, reference to the color item object that you want to copy from, and the two item, a mutable reference to the color item that you want to copy the values into. Inside the function, the color component values, R value, G value, B value of the front item are copied into the corresponding color component values of the two items. This effectively copies the color properties from one color item object to another. And here is the pass by mutable reference. So this method is similar to pass by reference, but it also allows the function to modify the original data. So in this example, the process amount by mutable reference receives a mutable reference to a U64 type parameter amount. It can rate and increment the original amount. Okay. Let's see how to implement the object deletion and structure unpacking. So the object deletion is a crucial component in programming, particularly in languages that deal with object-oriented programming or that utilize complex data structures. It refers to the process of removing an object from memory once it is no longer needed. This can be particularly important in managing uh, storage usage and preventing memory leaks in your programs. 
in swim move. Object relation takes on heightened importance. As a language trail for blockchain and smart contract development, swim move functions within an environment where juices, storage juices is vital. Smart contracts often need to preserve their state over extended duration. And efficient, inefficient storage utilization can result in escalated costs or even execution failures. Furthermore, object deletion in SwingMove is not as straightforward as merely expelling an object from memory. Given the blockchain's nature, a system must be in place to manage the elimination of objects along with uh, correlated data. So here is an example of deleting the object by using the object delete API to accomplish that. So for the structure unpacking, it refers to the process of extracting the individual values from a structure and assign them to separate variables. This allows the programmer to work with the structure's individual components directly. In SwiMove, the concept of structure unpacking is essential. Due to the language's strict rule regarding how data structures are handled, SwiMove, designed for creating blockchain-based applications, place a lot of emphasis on data security and encapsulation. As a result, a structure fields are not only accessible inside the module that defines the structure. If you want to modify or interact with the structure outside its defined module, you have to unpack it first. And here is a code example for the structure unpacking. So in this example, some struct is the struct with the fields, field one, field two, and field three. Inside the unpack example function, some struct is unpacked and its fields are assigned to the variables. This process of unpacking is necessary when deleting an object in SwiMove. You must first unpack the object to retrieve its ID, which can then be used to delete the object from the system. So that's basically the end of the this lesson, and I hope you enjoy it. I'll see you next time.